We will now go to the letter of agreement between Torrance County and the Town of Estancia for the Teen Outreach Program. Pat Lincoln. Doesn't look like she's here, so we will go to item number five, Plateau Fiber Optic Build-Out. Um, Chuck Maine, the Town Executive with Plateau. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the board, and citizens of Torrance County. Uh, I'm with EMR Plateau. And, Mr. Uh, Mango, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, okay. We have a hard time when um, not hearing people when they're not on the mic. Would you mind coming to the podium so that you can be recorded in the name? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Um, again, my name is Chuck Minus. I'm with ENMR Plateau Telecommunications. And uh, the reason I'm here is because um, several years back, uh, rural counties in New Mexico were looking to uh, see if they could have access to high-speed internet or high-speed technologies for communications. And uh, at the time, Governor Bill Richardson uh, had been asking around all the telecommunications companies to see what we could do to bring modern technology to the area. Um, after a while, there was an opportunity to participate in a grant project under the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Uh, several telecommunications companies uh, put in for that, and ENMR Plateau was awarded the grant for providing uh, plat uh, fiber optics telecommunications throughout New Mexico, and specifically in northeastern New Mexico. Uh, the grant allowed us, again, to do a fiber optic build, and I think I left a, a copy of the map. But uh, you can see here in New Mexico where the fiber optics is going to be going throughout New Mexico. And also within certain cities of New Mexico, we were asked by the federal government to bring the fiber optics to the city, county, state, and federal government offices also to all schools, libraries, and medical facilities within those areas and in, in those towns that were approved in phase one and phase two of the project. Uh, in phase two of the project, which we are in right now, includes Moriarty, Estancia, Torrance County, Edgewood, Belen, Mountaineer, Corona, Vaughn. So a lot of the uh, locations in this area are going to be getting uh, or having access to this fiber optics. Naturally, uh, and we'd also have an approval from the state of New Mexico that I submitted also uh, that you have a copy of. And this is just a letter from the state of New Mexico approving the project so we can get fiber optics to the communities. In doing so, um, again, there, there are only specific communities that were <coughs> asked to bring, or specific entities or offices that were asked to bring that fiber optics to I have a list of all of the locations in Moriarty, in Estancia, and in Edgewood, uh, so that you can have a copy of that as well, so you can see where we're specifically going to. So this won't be going to like open businesses or to residential areas uh, at, in this phase. It's just going to be going to those what we call anchor accounts that were funded by the federal government to do so. And then from there, after the fiber optics is there, and, and those folks have access to it. Then in the future, we can look at branching out to uh, other private businesses and even residential areas in the future. But it lets you know that we are bringing fiber optics to the area. Naturally, regardless of what the federal government says or the state of New Mexico says, we would have to come to the folks here at the city and at the county to get permission to actually do the fiber optic bill to your structures. Um, there is no cost to either the state, the federal, uh, I mean, to the state, to the county, or to the city offices, or any entity within for this build-out. The fiber build-out is being paid for approximately 80% by the federal government, and the other 20% the EMR Plateau is paying for. So there is no cost to the county for the fiber build-out to these locations, okay? In the near future, I believe in November, December time frame, after New Mexico has approved it, we will have a price list of what services will be available for the fiber optics. But the fiber optics will be able to bring telephone line service, uh, 1FBs and PRIs, also interconnect, I mean, internet services and dedicated internet with SLAs or service level agreements, 
We'll also bring hosted PBX, uh, TLS, or what people call chemo. And basically what that is, is right now when offices are connected to each other across the state, they're connected over the internet. So you have an internet connection at this location and an internet connection at this location. They create a VPN through the, through the internet so they can communicate with just each other. And, and that's, that's good, except people are concerned with securing on that. With QMO, or TLS, Transparent Land Service, what you'll have is fiber optics between the two points. You will not have to create a VPN through the internet because it doesn't go through the internet. It's just like having your own fiber optics between this point and this point, and you put whatever you want on it so they can communicate together. So there's no security risk there. You're not having to create a VPN to do it. It's just your own link between the two point, points based on the amount of bandwidth you want between the two points. Uh, in addition to that, in the future, they're also going to be able to offer video, uh, TV, high-definition TV, and things like that. So, again, those are the type of services that we're going to be able to see over the fiber optics technology that is going to be brought through the area. And uh, what I'm here to do is to make sure that you're aware of what is coming and to see if we can get permission to actually do the construction build to all the locations within Torrance County that come under the purview of Torrance County. There are several offices here that, uh, that aren't just Torrance County, there are other entities, but Torrance County owns the building. So naturally, as an owner, I'm coming to you asking for permission to bring the fiber optics to those locations as well. Do you have a list of those locations with you? Yes, ma'am, I sure do. <coughs> Uh, it also includes Macintosh as well. Uh, Sir, you, you said that the, the federal government is kicking in 80% and Plateau is kicking in the other 20%. Yes, sir. So for Plateau to put this line in, you're, you're paying 20 cents on the dollar. That is correct. All right, it's around Do you have to pay the federal government back? Okay. No, sir. It's, a grant. It's, it's, a, it's just a grant, and we're just required to meet their criteria of taking it to the locations that they asked us to take it to. Okay, and, and when you come out with the prices, uh, you mentioned that there would be a price list as to the services. Will the county receive those services at 20 cents on the dollar? I don't believe so. I think that those prices are going to be established in, con in uh, conjunction with what the state of New Mexico is going to include. I don't, I don't think it's going to be, uh, it, it'll just be regular services. Uh, the other thing about that is that nobody uh, is forced or has to utilize these services. This is just so that the fiber government would assist in building out the technology so people could have access to the service. Well, that's and then if and, 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 and you have access to the service, you don't have to use it. It'll just be there for you, either at the very least, maybe as a redundant uh, communication service in their area. Are there any further questions from the table? That's all for me. <clears throat> and then I would just like to see the list. Yes, As you prepare to bring the list, Mr. Means, are there, um, when you're in our county then, since you're going to be doing construction work, then you'll be paying also, we get a portion of that, do we not, Joy, whenever there's construction in the county? The gross receipts. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. Means, what, what would be the difference between what you're providing and what other, what CenturyLink is providing and um, higher speed internet and the other entities that offer that. Can you explain the difference to me? There really is no difference. I mean, the telephone line service is telephone line service, PRI service is PRI, internet service is internet service. It's just that you're using, utilizing a different technology to get it. Uh, with fiber optics, uh, the real advantage there is just the bandwidth that you can have on there. Um, I'll give you an example. Just, just a single strand of that fiber optics between two points is one gigabit or 1,000 megabits. And that's without putting any equipment on the end. I can make it bigger than that, more than that, but just on its basic 
uh, technology phone without anything on it. That's a lot of bandwidth. So over that bandwidth, uh, I think like with um, a sublink or, or with a century, uh, you're subject to the limitation of what they provide you in terms of bandwidth. Here, you can get 3 meg, 10 meg, 20 meg, 80 meg. I'm sorry, that's my phone. I'm not from there. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I had it on. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But uh, you can go up to 100 meg or even 500 megabits or 1,000 megabits of bandwidth. Uh, more important, that's, that's going to be critical for those folks who want TLS between two points or high-speed dedicated internet. Uh, if they want 40 meg, 80 meg, 100 meg internet. Uh, we're going to be able to accommodate that where the other folks will not be able to. And you don't have a proposed price list of what these costs are going to be to the consumer? Not at this time. It has not been released, and I, it's, my, it's my understanding that those will be released in November. Page is still is um, under not contacted, so these are just proposed a proposed customer base for you. Or? Yeah, we've contacted many of those folks already. It's just not annotated there. But that was the list that was approved by the federal government. Uh, I just wanted to let you see that these are the folks that we're going to be seeing that the federal government has approved to receive fiber optic technology. So this was just in included in your grant proposal as yes, uh, part of the locations that we need to visit. So at this time, um, is there anybody that has signed a contract that's ready to go? Uh, yes, ma'am. There's several entities that have already approved it. Uh, court, all, all of the state offices have. Uh, federal offices like USDA here. Uh, I think there was a hearing stance here. There was also the uh, Gosh, I can't remember what their name are. It's, it's over here right by the city. There's a land office there, <coughs> uh, abstract. And uh, I'm going over to present this to the city this morning. Uh, also have an appointment with schools here. Okay. So have access to it as well. Yeah, we've already got, like, uh, I know the schools in Moriarty want the service. As a matter of fact, they've got additional information because they actually want to do a a land service between Moriarty and Edgewood to connect all the schools together, so they're getting the service there as well. Okay, great. If you all just um, make sure that we get a copy of this yes, for our records. Um, are there any further questions from the table? No. Madam Chair, I have one, just a, more of a comment for a brief discussion with Brandon. This is part of what we had discussed in some sort of a franchise agreement because the county doesn't have any prior franchise agreements, so I think that would that would be in order for a project like this, correct? Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. So is the recommendation of council that we hold off until the document is produced, or what's the advice? Should we start at that process at all? No. Well, I don't know. Have you? <laughs> well, we have, but the commission would have to set the terms and those types of things. Right. No, we need to have a kind of open discussion about it, or maybe you and Dennis and I should sit down and discuss. I think we need to go along with the table until the next meeting. I think there was nothing where we're going with that. Okay, Mr. Means, it looks like we need a little bit of work on our end. We thank you for coming all the way out here and providing a great presentation to us. Um, again, the more connectivity that everyone has, especially in rural communities, that's just a plus and a benefit. So we would go ahead and like to table this. That would be my request to the to the table and then we will pick this back up after we get our documents in place. Yes, okay. Thank, Thank you for having me. So may I have a motion to table this please? So moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes.